some noise and welcome to the part talk show on friday we're going to be celebrating women's <coughs> day international women's day and that's why today we are doing this thing with the leziki band they're talking about love even though they're saying love for big uh, uh <laughs> so we're going to be celebrating women and today i want first of all to give a shout out to the very valuable women in my life my mom lucy my sister nancy and my little niece ivy Shout out from me. Love you lots. And also have lots of clothes, uh, uh, lots of women in my life. Let me clarify that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they're good friends. Good friends. Nothing happens other than good things. Okay. So without women, definitely in my, my opinion, is, you know, the world will lose emotion and less heart. And so I, I believe that women bring a lot of good and beauty and gentleness and love to the world in, an, in a way that we men... No, I just to clarify, we men cannot do. So today are celebrating women. I've got women on the, in the audience and uh, the ladies who have come to the audience before, wherever you are, I'm going to give you a shout out. On the other hand, we have women suffering more in terms of sexual abuse. More women are abused sexually, more women are abused in domestic uh, settings, and more women have their career and professional you know, path, sometimes uh, ha having obstacles simply because they are women. And so today, either way, as we celebrate women on, fr on Friday, here in Part Talk Show, we are celebrating them today. And if you are next to a woman, give her a hug. <laughs> oh, 
I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to see if the band is going to do that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but thank God. So, on my show today is Bright Star Kasioka, who is one of those women who is going to represent the women who we are celebrating today. She's only 20, but she's already the youth governor at Kitui. She's got a foundation. She, got, uh, she finished university at 19 with a degree in political science. She's got loads, and we're going to be talking about that. And it's a lot of we're going to be sharing and hearing from her as we celebrate uh, women. So, as we, as Lezik Band prepares to take us back to, you know, some entertainment, Talk to us on our social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Y254 channel. You know, pass your suggestions, opinion, and questions, and I'd be glad to hear from you. So, Leziki Band, let's go. Some people that really to jump off the friend zone, and you know, you know, even though they got no parachute, no, I don't know. Wish you the very best, ladies and gentlemen. Leziki Band, make some noise. All right, great music. And as I mentioned to you, I've got today, Bright Star Kasioka. Welcome. Thank Please make you. some noise for our guest today, Bright Star Kasioka. She's she's got quite a profile, and I'm gonna just uh, we're going to be talking about your profile. Okay. But before we do that, what do you think of uh, Leziki Band? 
I think they are fantastic. I'm going to invite them for my wedding. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, huh? The wedding is coming up. She has been preparing for it since eight. Uh, that she had mentioned. Since she was eight years old. She be, yeah, that's one of our big accomplishments. I was, I was mentioning to her. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You know, when, when, when people hear your voice, they don't think that you could have accomplished how much you have accomplished by now. You know? And you are a youth governor, first of all. Yes. What, what, what does, I want first of all to understand, you are the youth governor Kitui County. Yes. Please educate us on that. Okay, youth governors started in 2018. It was supposed to start in 2017, but people would have voted it was more of political, so it started in 2018. So we have 47 youth governors from all over mm -hmm. every county. Mm -hmm. It's an advocacy group, like, um, where we're supposed to work closely with the county government to help propagate the 30% of youth, mm -hmm. um, the resources, and then um, come up and come up with plans and then mm -hmm. talk with the relevant stakeholders mm -hmm. and come up with plans for the youth. So that's basically youth governors. The youth governors, yeah. right. I mean, you, you, you are 20 years right now, is it not? Yes. I mean, that's amazing that you're already a youth governor, but let's go a little bit back. So you hold a bachelor's degree in political science yes, with I IT. Yeah. From Maseno University at 20. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, here the audience is made up of a good number of university <laughs> students, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right? <laughs> and they started university at 20. Um, you know? Uh, when did you start high? You know, okay, let's go really back. When did you start your primary school? I started my primary school at two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yeah. Well, is that legal? No, it's, it's not. <laughs> but I think I was a bit lucky I started ah, that time. Okay, Maybe this okay. time it would have been a bit tricky. Ah. But the reason that happened, it wasn't just a normal story. It's because I fell. Uh -huh. And then I really had to learn how to be a left hand. Okay, so... So, um, there was a doctor. I mean, I, I hope that doctor finds me. Uh, he was called Dr. Kinyanjui. Mm -hmm. And he's the one who taught me how to write. So by the time I was going to nursery already, I knew A to Z and 1 to 100. Writing with your left hand? Yeah. So you you can't use a lot of your on of your yeah, right hand. I can't do much with my right hand. And you you fell at what uh, age? I was two. You're two years. Yeah. Okay. And you have learned to accept uh, that all these uh, all these years, or you still find <laughs> it has been quite a journey for me uh -huh. um, because um, as a teenager, especially right now, I'm not a teenager. Thank mm -hmm. God. But mm -hmm. as a teenager, like uh, images, everything. And then uh, you find yourself in this other side where, and then you see, even you couldn't tell from my profile picture, I try to present myself as me, mm -hmm. as brighter. Mm -hmm. And then still other people will go ahead and uh, you greet them with the left hand, they're like, why are you greeting me with the left hand? So they try to bring you down. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it has been quite a journey, but right now that I can talk about it in a public place, I think I'm getting there. You're getting there. That's yeah. uh, and, that, and that's really good. I mean... Uh, it's it's as you were saying, being a teenager and uh, being sensitive, being self-conscious. It's a uh, it, it's big for anybody. So congratulations for that, and it's one of the things that I admire a lot about you. You know, so you were youngest in the country when you were elected the finance secretary at Maseno University. Oh yeah. So uh, my story and how I ended up buying uh, uh. was quite interesting. Uh -huh. um, 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 somebody created a poster. I think it was thought, thought to be meant to be a mockery, uh -huh. you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm into fashion, so okay. you can find me the very short dress, uh, the leader, <laughs> anyway, so um, I was I in a short like, dress I'll, and I'll, I'll boots. I would not mind that at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a very short dress and uh -huh. boots and someone created my post and it went viral and it was there for written finance secretary and there were these people who were saying, oh, she should be gender secretary, you know, she should vie for Miss Maseno, you know, there was all that, all that. Mm -hmm. And my phone had issues at that time, so... I noticed after two days that I was trending in Maseno. Okay. And uh, when I went back, there were all this mock like she's vying, you know, like, but now they don't believe that she's vying. So um, that's the time I started asking, why do, do, do people think that I can't vie? And that's where my interest was. I didn't know what finance secretary was all about. Mm -hmm. I actually knew what finance secretary was about after mm -hmm. I got into office. That's and I didn't have an uh, ID, uh, and uh. you need to have an ID as a finance secretary. That shows I didn't even know anything about it. But I was trying to, pro you know, I, 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 there's a nini about Eminem. He says, uh, the first time he tried singing, people booed at him, and he went home and he was like, um, I quit. Then he was like, but these people are not going to define me, so he went back to it. I think that was me. <laughs> I had to prove myself. Mm -hmm, and, mm. and when I was elected, I think there were all these slogans in Facebook, Watoto wa kanyonye, you know, um, about my voice. Directed to you. Okay. Yeah, mm. directed to me. But I think I, 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 I love children very much, young people, and I was like, ah, if I can do it, then why can't I do? So I think I did it for myself and for the children. Mm -hmm. Like, 
Sometimes you don't have to fit in what the society thinks you should be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I've really had a problem with that. They should, they think you should dress like this, they should talk like this, you should do this. I've been told of that several times to be trained about my voice. I don't know what, what, but you should never fit in that box that the mm -hmm, society thinks mm -hmm, that you should mm -hmm, be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, wow, that uh, one of, one of the, one of the staff here called Max said you studied together and he was, he was repeating some of, some bit of your experience of when you try to, you know, to, to speak to the, you know, to the students at Masena and, and as you are saying, some really made fun of, uh, of your voice, but you still overcame that and fought back and got the seat. And I can see you became a nominated Congress, uh, Congress member at Masena University at 16 years. Yeah. Um, and I, I shout out to the, to the person who did that. He was a secretary general that time. He was called Miss mm. Yani. Mm. And even when he nominated me, he was also mocked. Was like, how can you nominate her? Like, that's a joke, you know. But I think he saw something that the world didn't see. Mm. Mm. And when I was nominated, I remember the first, co I would go to the Congress and keep quiet for some time. I was handling depression at that time, actually. And um, the first time I spoke, uh, there was a, a friend who stood and was like, oh, I think I underestimated you. <laughs> so I think sometimes it's good for the world to think that you can do nothing, and then you just speak and people are like, oh, okay. You so just, that's, yeah. yeah, you smack them in the face that, you know, I, I can actually <laughs> do it. Yeah, sometimes you mm. don't have to do all the talking, you just have to let your actions speak for yourself. Uh -huh. Yeah. I hope, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to bright star just in her name is everything that she does bright star and i want to remind you to go to her facebook uh, twitter and instagram pages at white five four channel and send your what do you think about this conversation and about uh, bright star kasioka about what she has done so go to our twitter instagram and facebook at white five four channel and we are going to be speaking to you and reading out your comments okay now you have appeared in several televisions Analyzing uh, something to do with leadership, you know, and the way young people represented in Kenya. Yes. What precisely is wrong, and what does a twenty-year-old now? Let me be a bit now cynical. <laughs> what does a twenty-year-old know about what politicians should be doing? I imagine a politician asking you that question. Um, I think sometimes, and okay, not sometimes, all the time. I think your leadership is not about age. Mm -hmm. It's about your experiences and what you can do. Mm. And going against the grain and being the person who takes risks that people are not able to take. Uh, I mean, I might be 20 years old, but I, if I give you my whole life story, I might be 60 years, you know. Uh, and, and the, but the thing is, I feel our country, um, most youth don't want to take up leadership positions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's where we go wrong. It's Celebrities, scary. musicians, mm -hmm. those people who have a following and a backup, they're like, we don't want politics. But that's, that's, that's the same people who can bring the following that they have to bring change in the society. Absolutely. The other time I saw King Kaka, he, he said he wanted to do donation of pads. You can see that being trended in social media. So as a leader, I mean, even if you're not in politics, even if you are a singer, what are you doing with the following that you have? Mm, to make you know? a difference, yes, yes. Yeah, that's how the way young people can contribute. We don't have always to wait for handouts. Mm -hmm. We don't always have to wait for what is older people can do. Mm -hmm. We can start something on our own, you Absolutely. know. Yeah, I feel that's what should be done. And you want to be a politician sometime in the future. You want to run for an elected, elected yes, seat? Yes, I want to. Back at, uh, back at your home place? Yeah, unless statistics change. Of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you, what will you start? What would you start with when you start for, to vie for an elective post? I hope my member of parliament is not watching me, but member of parliament. That's what you want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's, it's a he or she. It's a he. Oh, it's he's going to he's going to be watching you and now. He's a ah, tough one. He's a tough one. Eh? Yeah. So you want to start as an MP? I would start do, as an MP. Do you have a, like a timeline? Like I want to do this maybe by the next election or the le the ne the next. Uh, or you want to keep this chinya magic? No, for my own security, let me keep this okay, okay, in your ah. She's not going to run in time soon for, her, <laughs> for the sake of her security. <laughs> All right, and then you, 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 have, a, you have a foundation yeah. which you started in 2017, Bright Star Rose Foundation. Yeah. Tell me about that. Okay, in 2016, I used to give speeches around high school. Mm -hmm. um, as I, as, as I told you, I've handled depression, um, trying to accept myself, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, what I did, I love speaking to young people. I love telling them that you can make it, that it doesn't matter your family. Like, I've defied all odds to be where I am today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you can do it. And I think my story, uh, there are so many young people can relate to it. And I think the one I chose this hairstyle. Mm -hmm. You know, kids, they see me and they're like, oh, Kadoli, you know? I think, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think, uh, I, I, I think God made me young and made me achieve the 
things at a young age so that I could be able to inspire generations. Mm -hmm. So, um, but and then there was this girl who came to me and she told me she had 10 boyfriends. Oh, that's a quite an accomplishment. Tell me about that. <laughs> <laughs> the girl is in form two. Uh -huh. And and right now she's in, I think, form four. Yeah, so she, she, she said she had 10 boyfriends and why? One to buy pencils, pens, and those, another one to buy books, another one to buy pads, you know, and the girl herself is HIV positive, and oh she man. knows, and no mm. one knows from her family. I think that whole story transformed my life, like, I was like, right, so you cannot just go talking to people, you know, I, I think we've done enough of motivational talks, so you come up with something, and, and she was actually the first person I helped, and, um, uh, and, and, and um, so um, I, I would, I had my savings, of course, I was a student leader in 2017, that's when I was elected, and I was a nominated Congress of mem <laughs> member of Congress, so I had my own savings. And those are the ones I used to help the girl. Mm -hmm. And then afterward, I don't know, I think when you help someone, they share with other people and then people start reaching out to you. And today, even if you take my phone, you'll see so many texts, hey, Bryce, send me 200, I don't have fare. I don't know where those people get my number and as long as I have it, I will send. So there's this boy who had a fee balance of 34,000. So I called all my friends and we helped clear it. So I was doing it really from, from, from passion because I've been helped myself by so many so people. So you, someone texted you that they, I mean, someone told you that they need 34,000 for their school fees. They didn't tell me that. They told me they needed 50 shillings for dinner. Uh -huh. And I called the person and I told them I wanted to meet them. Okay. That's the time now I found they were the magic of dropping out. Okay. Yeah. And then you called your friends yeah. and you, you cleared his school fees. Yeah. Please give it up. No, <laughs> that's enough. Uh, I mean, that's 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 amazing. So, what you do is help people by like mobilizing the people who can to help those who can't. That's what is that the main thing yeah, about yeah, Bright yeah. Star? Yeah, because I don't have partners. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's something I just do. I can call friends. Mm -hmm. Like if I know you, you, you can tell by people hearts. You can know who mm -hmm. can who can help. So mm -hmm. I call them. Then we can come about ten people and we contribute. Mm -hmm. You know the thing about helping is people feel if I give five hundred or two hundred is very mm -hmm. little. Mm -hmm. But if you come ten people. That's money that can take a child to school. And absolutely. And especially in those rural areas, they need very, very little. Mm -hmm. About a thousand, sometimes yeah, two yeah. thousand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, that's what I try to do. I try to be, because I've been a leader, I have that link. I try to be the link between the people in the rural and the people who are in town. And people who have something that they can contribute. And then I bring it together, pull mm. in of resources, and then I Absol help. That's great. I mean, uh, and people have realized what you are doing you know you have won uh, a few awards uh, already uh, last year you won the coveted exemplary student leadership award awarded by african youth leadership forum in conjunction with the national prayer breakfast as a top five student top five student in the country who are impacting lives in their community yeah i mean come on people <laughs> wow top five in the country yes so what happens, African Youth Leadership is a Christian organization mm -hmm. and um, it, it tries to build integrity, uh, leaders with integrity. So they, uh, there's an application form where people fill and then from there there's training and then you, they eliminate to about I think 17 or that depending on the number or 50. But it's application form all over universities. Mm. Then from there they go, personally they go to schools. Okay. They interview random cooks, sh um, the, the soldiers, how do you relate with them, how are you as a leader. Mm, random mm, people, they mm. go to your dean, they get recommendation. So I didn't expect to end uh, actually in top five because one of it is that people are doing amazing things out here you know i was looking at them from the innovative side i'm not innovating myself i'm more into arts you know and helping social that's pretty innovative come on <laughs> that is amazing so I, yeah. I didn't think i would but mm. then when we went for the dinner it was the night before national prayer breakfast uh, I was called as a top five and I got the award from the speaker and congratulations for that you deserve it i i believe you deserve it just by that that one young man you helped. I mean, that's that's amazing. Thank you. And you know, you are among the top eighteen finalists. Yeah, we are now in forty. So I think that's a you're fourteen top now. Forty. No, we started as a thousand. A thousand. Uh, so the, uh, we won't uh, mention which station, okay? <laughs> but you're in the Miss President uh, competition in one of the uh, local TV stations. Yeah. You started a thousand of you. Yeah, and uh, and uh, I currently actually I think right now it's airing at this moment. Mm, yes, yes. And we are in top forty, so the elimination is still going on. So you are at forty right now. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Started a thousand. And you are among the top 40 right now. 
Let me say something about Miss President. When I applied for Miss President, I was 19. Mm -hmm. And they had already put it in their poster that they need 20 years old. <laughs> okay. But my friends pushed me to uh, do it. Uh. And um, it's because I'm passionate about both media and leadership. Mm -hmm. And they were like, this is what is for you. So when I applied, they called me for some interviews. And then I made it through. And I thank God. I think it's just God. Yeah, it's, it's, it's God. But also at the same time, it's... Uh, it's it's hard work, isn't it? You're doing, you know. We say grace works on nature, so you know you you work hard and grace does the rest. Yeah. And uh, so you are. I mean, that is, I, I appreciate that, and I mean, uh, congratulations. I mean, uh, more power to you. And tomorrow you are going for another award that you've been nominated for, which you stand a chance of getting the Zuri Awards. Tell me about that. Uh, Zuri Awards. So I didn't apply for Zuri Awards. Mm -hmm. Um, I I I got nominated by people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was in the Miss President when I first got there. Someone texted me, congratulations in Zuri Awards. You know, Zuri Awards, people nominate other people, and then they select the top three in each category. Okay. And, and I was a top three in the categories, and I didn't even know that I was in it. And um, so we, we did showcasing in Junction. It's meant to recognize outstanding people who are doing something amazing in their con societies. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so the awards are tomorrow, and uh, I'm nominated in the Young Achiever category. And so we wish you the very, very best. I mean, come on, we wish you the very best. And, uh, Thank you. We hope you win. We hope you win, all right? But I'm going to come back to you right now uh, before I give it to Leziki Band to take us through. You know, we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll be asking uh, our guest today questions, uh, maybe from the audience, a little bit of a few, a few, a few questions. I hope you're really enjoying this conversation. It's a great conversation. We've got a great guest, and she is one who is representing uh, women. And when we come back, we'll have a short conversation about women and, uh, and Women's Day on, on, on Friday and a little bit about uh, modern feminism. And then I'm going to give two questions to the audience. So keep the conversation coming, uh, Y254 channel, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I want to hear from you, and I'll be reading your comments after the short break from Leziki. Let's go. So me make sure she go like nothing, oh And I've been wanting and begging She been my life, no time for gaming, oh I've been loving and charming So me make sure she go like nothing, oh And I've been wanting and begging She been my life, no time for gaming, oh Nilipenda kanitenda cheza hai Kafala nikatenda hai Nikatenda kanitenda tenda But now I'm not seeing my pains You wanna come back not today Halie ni padonda ni wepeke I know you're a traitor Nimejifunzo si jitet Give you love, give me love, no need it Oh no, 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 sinile Take your love, take your love now, G baby Oh no the love go carry the way the thing she doing. Ooh, I ain't got no time for this damn traitor. Cause I've been loving and charming. So me and make sure she go like nothing. Oh, and I've been wanting and begging. She been my life, no time for gaming. Oh, I've been loving and charming. So me and make sure she go like nothing. Oh, and I've been wanting and begging. She been my life, no time for gaming. Let's 
me no tata To see her smile from me wala wala She's never been down, she's a ha-ha I give her out love like fa-fa Kafala nili bakia Kweni pezi nali tope mbe uli nipatia Na sasa nime bakia Kweni pezi nali tope mbe uli nipatia Now I'm not saying my pain I am no way when you get I live in your bed and you will be okay I know you're a traitor, yeah Cause I've been laughing and charming So me and my trust she gone like nothing oh. And I've been wanting and begging To be my life, no time for gaming oh. I've been laughing and charming So me and my trust she gone like nothing oh. And I've been wanting and begging She be my life, no time for gaming Twende, at leziki Twende, leziki She has failed. I know she's a traitor, yeah. So maybe she has gone like nothing more. She's been my life, no time for gaming more. So maybe she has gone like nothing more. She's been my life, no time for gaming band amazing stuff right there wow ladies and gentlemen watching from home and i can see i can see your comments here that you're sending them in shout out to the ladies in your life we and i, I don't just mean the so everybody yeah, the important ones and i can see the kennedy or Dwar. i'm celebrating my one and only mom lillian atieno from sikang may lord shower her with the blessings amen kennedy or Thank you so much. Can I do it again? I appreciate that young girl a lot. I like her confidence. Keep it up. Awesome. Great stuff. Yeah, she is absolutely confident. Then there's Captain Living Rock, humble, Kurui. Invite Dr. Wale Akinyemi to the session. Okay, Captain, you'll tell me who that is. I will, I will, I will definitely. John Tosh, this girl in plural, <laughs> seems to be capable of capable to join politics you are capable of joining <laughs> politics we see that yeah good stuff all right uh, Eunice Kasiva wow she is blessed you are absolutely blessed again Kennedy Odwar is back I think Kennedy has a crush on you you are <laughs> such amazing may God give you more blessings yes Kennedy uh, absolutely Gracia Mwende I'm so proud of that young talented girl I'm personally challenged. She's gonna far. She's going far to an to an extent of being the next Miss President Kenya. All the best. Thank you. I celebrate my mom and grandma, the two women I have grown to admire so much. Thank you, Gracia Mwende. Uh, then we have Irene Ruth. I do love this girl. Her leadership was just perfect at Maseno, and I know she'll make a good leader in the future. In life, okay, I guess that's what. Yeah, thank you so much, Irene Ruth. That was your I classmate. I love her too much. <laughs> oh, Irene Ruth, you Ruth, Ruth, you loved her a lot. Okay, Irene Ruth. Okay, then we've got some more. Do we have some more com comments uh, on the other side? Any? I think there was some further comments as as they come. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, keep this conversation coming. Oh, here they are. Chesa Narada, hey, let me tell you, <laughs> some names on Facebook. The young girl is blessed and going far. Shout out to mom, sis, grandma, I thought it's grandma. And to all the women, the Savisana, Chesa Narada, awesome. Then, Jesus Christ, 
Josephate Matt Muxioka. Hey. Well, I'm celebrating my mother Gladi Mwika Akiwa Konza. Salimia uyo mresh sana. Mesalimika. Oh, mesalimika kabisa. <laughs> Aya, then we have John Gesha. At just 20, she has achieved all that. <laughs> Yo, man. She's going far. May God bless you. You know? God bless you too. Lots of love and blessings from our viewers. They are enjoying. Oh, there is Yasmin Patel. We have a Patel on the somebody watching now. God Patel. <laughs> you have good foundation, sweetheart. Wow. Thank hey, you. My pencil in the Paka sweetheart sasa. <laughs> now next is honey. Okay, let's go. Now, who is your inspiration? You're just telling me about the two people that inspire you so much. Yeah. Tell me about that before we take some questions from the audience. Okay, I was just having a discussion with them. Um, I have two people who inspire me very much. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one is Barack Obama. Um, and the reason I love Barack Obama is because he didn't grow up with a dad. But look at the amazing man he's turned to be. You know, sometimes we use our life stories to just say how we could not be the best we could be. But Obama made it possible, like, you don't have to blame. It's upon you to take responsibilities to be the person you want to be. He's turned to be an amazing dad, an amazing leader, a man who just didn't have a dad. And then I love Oprah Winfrey very, very much. Oprah is just amazing. I think it's because I'm passionate about hosting, so I might host a show in the future. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so Oprah is just, I uh, mean, after going through all those things, she went through rape, you know, coming from a poor family. She's one of the richest women, in, and she has a foundation as well. She gives back to the community, and she has defined her own beauty, what beauty is. Mm -hmm. And locally, Ken O'Kurth. Kibra MP. He's Kibra doing MP. much. Ah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Much. And I pray that he gets heals from cancer. Like, amen, he's just an amazing leader. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's a, that's a prayer for from all of us, uh, yeah. you know, from the heart. Uh, that, yeah, he gets well. It has been, uh, I'm sure it has been also difficult for him. No, Wangari Matai? No? Nobody? No? no nothing? Okay. <laughs> Not on the list? Okay. Fine. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take... Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa of, yeah. of, of, of Calcutta. That has been my childhood icon since I was in class four. That has been your inspiration. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. We wish you also now the very best as you, you know. Uh, now, before we, I wish you the very best for that, now we've got some questions from the audience. And uh, please, just say your name and where, what you are studying and then ask your question briefly. Go. Hi. Hello. Hello. I am Motoni Mokono. An undergrad in procurement and logistics, multimedia university. Awesome. Yes. Uh, first of all, you're amazing. Absolutely amazing. You're an inspiration. Thank you. And my question is, you talked about youth governors. It is the first time I've heard about it. I think I'm not the only one. How do you get to be one? Yes, that's it. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Mike. We've got another question. Maswali Fupi Fupi, SMS. I'm Jono Diambo, Copa yeah. University of Kenya. My first question, what keeps you going? What keeps you, keeps you going every day? Like, for me, I have also been doing that. But what keeps me going is this one girl one day I met, and I give that lady 100 oh. bob. But the way she celebrated me, no one has ever oh. celebrated me that way. That's what oh. keeps me going. Oh. And I then, the second call. thing what I know, sometimes, what I have learned, that sometimes it doesn't require money. It just requires heart. Nakojitolea. Thank you. May God bless you. Perfect. Very good. The last question from uh, Arnold. Yeah, my name is Anna Kibai from the University of Nairobi. Uh, my question is the young lady who is a leader to is a... Uh, so please use the other mic because we can't hear you so well. Uh, I say my name is Anna Kibai from mm -hmm. the University of Nairobi. I want to pose a question to you. Uh, on the, or is a, a small number of, of the of young leaders here in a society now who have voted in and uh, Maybe if you make your intentions clear on this, you said, and you are going to contest for some seat, a member of parliament, I hope. Um, what are you going to do to ensure that you're not going to, to be like the rest of the guys who are being voted in, and then they, they blend into the, the senile leaders you have in the society? Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Give it up for those who have asked the question. Yeah. You've got three solid questions. Go for it. Uh, so I'll start with the youth governor. Mm -hmm. You can go, go, just search youth governors, Kenya. You'll see the profile about youth governors. And when they have application, maybe you can give me your contacts and I can give you. Um, it is started in 2018. So it is still set in structures because we have a youth governor. Then we have uh, a, a county 
uh, like MPs, county constituency reps. And then under constituency reps, there's ward reps. So recruiting all those people was not something that was going to take less than a year. So it's still setting up the structures, but right now we are done, so you will hear more about us. Yeah. And then uh, to the guy what keeps me moving, uh, that's a whole debate, but I know we have limited time. But I can say, I think for my young age, I knew I was meant for something great. I mean, um, and, and, and the person who keeps me moving mostly is my grandfather. And he's my greatest supporter. And he believes in me very, very much. He believes I'll be president. I keep telling people that I've never thought of being president until I ended up being his president. I was like, oh. And, and, and then, um, and again, where I come from, I think sometimes you have to choose. I come from this particular place, and I'm going to be the change and the hope of this community. So I didn't have the luxuries when growing up. I was just another kid who was being laughed at by other kids because of, you know, like I wasn't what the society wanted them. And I feel like there's. I, I'll give you a, a short story of Lupita Nyong'o. Lupita Nyong'o said she used to cry every day before she goes to bed, wondering why uh, she was very dark. And um, for a very, very long time, she always prayed to God, God, make me a bit lighter. Until one day, Alec Wak, I don't know whether that's her pronunciation, but that's Sudanese, uh, British model. She was all over magazines, all over covers, and people were celebrating her until Oprah said she's beautiful. And to Lupita, Oprah is like her, one of her icons. And she was like, she's beautiful. So people can celebrate people with a skin like mine. And that's how Lupita owned her power. So I feel I'm that person to young children out there who uh, are struggling with self-acceptance, self-image. It'll be like, if Bright Star can make it, so can we. So that keeps me going a lot. Perfect. Yeah. And uh, the last question, when I get elected, what I will do? I feel um, leaders are born and made at the same time. I think that's where we go wrong. In Kenya, we try to make leaders out of people who, who are not. No, we try to. OK, people just wake up today and decide they are vying. They don't go through these trainings of leadership. They don't have community at heart. You know, uh, and I feel I have that. Like, life has really trained me. And I think before God gives you a task, even in the Bible, uh, every person, even Joseph, Moses, all those people, they had to be prepared. Moses had to go to the palace and then go again, become a shepherd. You have to taste both life for you to for God to see whether you can handle leadership. And I feel I'm prepared enough to handle that. So I hope I don't change. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Give it up for us. Uh, beautiful. So. Before we before we break, I'm, 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 I'll keep I'll give it back to Leziki. I know they are, they're almost finishing their songs. They have lots of songs. I'll give it back to them to sing one more song. Women's Day. What do you have for the, what 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 is, what is your expectation for Friday? As we. Mm. Uh, Friday, uh, um, I have a very important interview. Can you imagine that? On the very same day, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we wish you the best. Uh, and it's an that. interview that will decide whether I join a media house or not. So I am like uh, I don't have big plans for Women's Day, uh -huh. but I have plans for tomorrow. Of course, I'm attending the Zuri Awards. Ab absolutely, but w in, in now in the bigger picture, yeah. where, where do you do you think as a country we are when it comes to the place of women in the society? I think we are somewhere. When we started, uh, Kina Mother, Wangari Madai, when you were asking me, they would be beaten, they would be done, all those sorts of things. But right now, where we are, we are at a place where you look at Kitu, they elected in Gilu, like we have three governors. Mm, but still, there's so yeah. much to be done. Like, there's so much. If you go to the grassroots, grassroots, Monamke is a leader, you know. And I think what we normally happen, we do a lot of advocacy in social media and campaigns. Mm -hmm. But these people in the roots are not in social media. So, I mean, uh, how, what are we doing about educating people in the grassroots that women can lead? Yeah. Uh, I, I give a, a, a good example of Lesuda. Um, Lesuda. She was dominated and then she was elected. I think in some of these places, they need nomination for them to see their women doing something. Okay. And then they can elect them. A sort of a stepping stone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. It, it depends with what type of a can what part of the country you're speaking about. If it's yeah. Nairobi, we are some, we hmm. will, we are, but still women face a lot of difficulties when hmm. they are campaigning, hmm. asking for votes. So it's a long way to go. It's a long way. But even hmm. America itself, they didn't elect, um, a female president. Yeah. So it, it is shows it's a conversation all over the world, mm -hmm. but at least we are not where we used to be, and that's where the hope lies. We can keep on in, increasing the momentum. And then again, I say, if we want to have women leaders, we cannot just empower women. We have to, to empower men as well. We Absolutely. have to uh, 
Ta like uh, the trainings that happen with girl child should also happen with men. With the with the men. Yeah, because what happens? We have this a uh, group of empowered women who think, who know that they can lead the world, but on the other side they don't have supportive men. And mm. why? Because even in high schools, the trainings are only for men, for mm. for girls. Mm. So I think mm. we should have this conversation that you are woman being powerful mm. doesn't mean that. You, you are a weaker man. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. We've got a few more uh, comments from uh, Kid Melody. Oh, my goodness. Amanda, Kid Melody, Amanda. Okay, oh, he's here. You. Uh, okay, let me see to other I can read this from Spencer Boy. You so wonderful. Gary, at the age of 20, <laughs> you have achieved all that. I also like giving hope to people. Never lose hope. Dear girl, you are good and a faithful girl. I love you very much, <laughs> girl, and may help God help you and bless you very much, girl, for helping people. Good night. Girl. Girl. Good night, Spencer <laughs> boy. Spencer boy. Yeah, thank you so much for such it's so all. Yeah, thank you so much, hugs. Spencer boy. She hugs. <laughs> hug I'm sending him air hugs. <laughs> hugs are coming your way. Uh, <laughs> then we've got Kiddy Melody, the Power Talk Show. Damn! That's what we call girl power. I'm so proud of that chick. Shout out to her. Ask her if she has ever met people who want to bring her down and what is her inspiration that made her go for what she wants. So I think you have uh, mentioned that, uh, who, what inspires you. Uh, Josephat, Matt Musioka. Well, Josephat, uh, you were here a few minutes back. Uliza Brett Sakama and Aizan is idea. You should inbox me. <laughs> yes, inbox her. Okay, you can go to her Facebook, Bright Star Kasioka. Then Kennedy Odor, for the fourth time, Kennedy Odor is back. This guy has a crush on you. Absolutely. <laughs> My question to Bright Star is what... Who inspires Oh, is that who inspires her? Okay. So she has mentioned Barack Obama and Oprah Winfrey. Then you've got Newton Burks. She is just a pretty, amazing young lady with an emphasis on pretty. <laughs> I love her spirit. God bless you. Awesome. That is Newton Burks. Then we've got Kamwana Mbenja Kamombasa. Eh? Yes, tuko pamoja sana mrembo. Okay, tuko pamoja sana mrembo. Asante sana. I think that's uh, those are the comments from home from the viewers. Thank you so much for those comments. Uh, thank you for tuning in on the Power Talk Show and uh, making it such a an amazing show. Now it's your turn to give a shout out to the also to the women in your life. Um, no, I, I, I first wanted to say whether uh -huh. I've met people who put me down. Oh, yeah, yeah correct, correct. Yeah, I've met so many people. <laughs> like, I've been always on the other side of the society where I don't follow rules. Mm. So, um, how I handle that is that I don't let anyone define me. I mean, if you think I should change my hairstyle for you to take me seriously, that's your problem. You know, and um, um, I, I try to define my own path. I mean, I'm just 20. I have all these issues that teenagers and young people deal with, trying to figure myself out, trying to figure out what boyfriend I want, trying to figure all those kind of stuff. I know so some. I know some. <laughs> so okay. I am not going to let the external world get into me. Absolutely. So what you have to do is, if you are a young person, just define your life. Just look at what do you want to be, and know that it's not easy to get there. And what I tell people is that people who attack you in social media are very frustrated with their own lives they're just trying to make your life miserable that's so where they have time to do that yeah, yeah so don't don't give in to that absolutely yeah All right, and awesome. shout out to there was which camera are we looking at camera camera three okay i i have so many amazing women in my life but um i will say shout out to my grandmother <laughs> if she is watching my grandmother she's really been an amazing woman and all the amazing women who believed in me, Natasha Nje, Lisa Yani, uh, Buya Mukonzo, and all my friends, thank you, thank you so much, and may God bless you. Leziki Band are going to entertain us before we come back with some games. I want us to play some games with you. Okay. Right here. Okay, so Leziki, let's go.
Piri Papa. playing the instrumental chini maji all right all right welcome back now we're going to have a game we're going to play a game and i have to get today with me my guest bright star and i have zp from cooperative university oh my god we have and we, have, we are going to play a game and this game is very very simple as you can see here the cups are stacked all right i mean these cups are stacked and all they have to do is just pull them out without dropping the cups okay and uh, we see who wins okay and then after that we're gonna play one 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 other game so are you ready yes. hello are you ready I'm ready you ready yeah. make some noise yeah. all right all right all right okay let's go let's go let's go uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stack my own here so that you don't say that I, I didn't I didn't show you how to do this okay so all right here we are okay okay there we are ready are you ready okay let's go Let's go. Hey, can I hear some encouragement that side? All right, let's go. Woo! Uh, okay, here you go. Here you go. You are, oh, oh, you drop. Okay, let's go again. Try, try. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm arranging for you. Let's go. Oh. Where? Are you sure? So celebrating women. You're trying to see if the women here can be, beat me at this. Okay. Two to one. Let's go. Uh. Oh. Oh. My turn. My turn. Ah yes. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh huh. Final one, final one. Don't, don't knock them off. Whoa! Oh no! I don't know which spirit no, was I that. That I, I, I don't know which spirit did that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, just for the sake of the ladies, I'll ask one quick question. And all the what all that the ladies have to do is grab this bottle. And I'm going to ask them very simple questions. So I'm going to start with the rehearsal. And when I ask a question, you just grab the bottle and answer. All right? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Can I hear some noise, some encouragement for the people here? Okay. So when I ask, so let, let's do some rehearsal. Who is the president of Kenya? 
Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, His Excellency Uru Kenyatta. Okay. Question now. If your mother was my mother, name a river in Kenya. <laughs> what are you looking at? No, it's only once. You have to uh, listen to the question. L- l- listen to the question attentively and answer as it's a tricky question. So, name one exceptional woman in Kenya. <laughs> Charity Ngilu. Charity Ngilu. Okay, very good. One zero. Okay. Another question. If you are on a date with a person you love, a gentleman, okay, okay. in a restaurant, and he is telling you stories that you enjoy, all right? What is the date today? <laughs> today is the sixth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up to. They all win today. Give it up to Bright Star, my guest today. Please give it up. Make some noise to Bright Star. And of course, Zippy has done very well. well. That's amazing. And that has been the part talk show today with me, Dominic. And I really have enjoyed being with you and the audience here. Audience, make some noise for yourself. I'm grateful to have you here. And then we've got the Liz- Leziki Band. Make some noise for Leziki Band. And all of you, my viewers from home, that have been watching and communicating and talking to me through the social media, the Facebook, the comments. I love that. Uh, Odur, there's a Odur who has a crush on my guest. Uh, amazing. As you can see us on my right, you know, there are good things here in the audience. Max, uh, okay. Um, uh, then uh, someone had asked me for some suggestion for a, for a wife. So I... <laughs> There'll be some announcements after this. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Power Talk Show, and we are celebrating women. And above all, and through the through uh, Bright Star, we have celebrated women. And all of you, we value you, the women uh, who are our viewers on Power Talk Show on Y254. We value you, we love you, and we wish you the very best and God's blessings. And as the evening comes, please do have a good night. God bless you, and go mad. Go out. Make a difference. And I'll give, I'll give it back to Leziki Band to close it for us. Make some noise. <laughs>